Herkese merhaba. In this lesson, we'll learn the different ways of saying thank you in Turkish. My name is Can and in this channel, I'm teaching everything related to Turkish language so that you can improve your Turkish. If you're interested in learning Turkish, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm making new videos every week. So I think we need to use different expressions for different situations. For example, if someone buys you a car, inshallah, you can say something nicer than only teşekkürler, which is thanks. I think that will be better. So with this being said, let's get started with the informal ways of saying thank you in Turkish. Sal, I love this one. It literally means be alive. So as you can understand, it has a deeper meaning than teşekkürler. You basically wish the person to live well and healthy. You can use it if someone has gone out of his way to help you or if someone did something they actually didn't need to do. It's also frequently used between friends. Personally, I use it more than teşekkürler or any other way of saying thank you. And if you want to make this even bigger, you can say çok sağol. Çok is very. Çok sağol. Here are some scenarios to show you the use of sağol. Pardon, bir kalem verebilir misin? Tabii ki. Sağ ol. Sana yemek yaptım. Çok sağ ol. Eyvallah. Eyvallah is a very common way of saying thank you in Turkish. It's considered as a masculine word, so it's not preferred by women. That's why it's usually used by men when they are talking to each other. Eyvallah. 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 A man usually doesn't say Eyvallah to a woman because it might it might be perceived as something rude. And generally women don't say Eyvallah to each other as well. Here is a video that I made for my Instagram page Turkish with Can to show the use of Eyvallah to you. For example, let's say you're in a cafe. Eyvallah. You can also say eyvallah while you're living somewhere. Hadi eyvallah. You can find many more videos like this on my Instagram page. I would love to see you there. Çok teşekkürler. Çok teşekkürler. Çok teşekkürler. So it means thanks very much. It can be used in both informal and formal situations. When someone did something really nice for you and you're grateful for that, you can say çok teşekkürler. Çok teşekkürler. Harikasın. Harikasın means you're awesome. If someone did something really nice for you, you can say harikasın. And you can also mix them with çok teşekkürler and it will sound like Çok teşekkürler. Harikasın. Çok teşekkürler. Harikasın. Eline sağlık. Eline sağlık. Eline sağlık. You should definitely know this one if you are living in Turkey. Because as a foreigner, I'm sure you will receive a lot of dolma, baklava, cake or kahve from your neighbors, from your friends. Or even from random people. So to thank them, you can say Eline sağlık. Eline sağlık. It literally means held to your hand. So if the person bought the food or drink from a restaurant or from a store, you don't use this one. You can just say teşekkürler or sağ ol. Ama if they made the food by themselves, you, you should say Eline sağlık. And the formal version of Eline sağlık is elinize sağlık. E li ni ze sağlık. You can say this to the people that are older than you or to people that you don't know well. Now let's get some formal ways of saying thank you in Turkish. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. It basically means Thank you. And again, you can use it in formal and informal situations. Doesn't matter. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. It means thanks 
and it's kind of more casual and it's used more frequently than teşekkür ederim. Çok naziksiniz. Çok naziksiniz. If you want to emphasize that someone is very kind, you can say çok naziksiniz. Nazik is kind in Turkish. And you can say this to your friend like çok naziksin. So in informal situation, you will say çok naziksiniz. But if you're saying this to your friend, you will say çok naziksin. Çok naziksin. Sağ olun. So we already learned what sağol means. You can use it to people that you know. But sağolun is used for the people that you don't know. Let's say you're in a restaurant and the waiter served you a free dessert. You can say sağolun. Çok naziksiniz. Sağolun. Çok naziksiniz. Or your math teacher gave you an extra five point so that you can finally pass the course. You can say Sağ olun or çok sağ olun. These were some different ways of saying thank you in Turkish. But how can you answer when someone thanks you? There are two possible ways to say you're welcome. So the first one is and the most frequent one is bir şey değil. Bir şey değil. And the second one is ne demek. Ne demek? So be careful here because ne demek also means what does it mean? Remember these two ones. You can use them in any situations. So guys, I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you're interested in learning Turkish, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to make many more videos just to help you improve your Turkish. I'm also on Instagram. You can also follow me there. I'm sharing some phrases some pronunciation tips, I'm sure it will be helpful for you. Okay, bu videoyu izlediğin için çok teşekkürler. Kendine iyi bak, görüşürüz.